The patio sidewalks in a driveway will be added to the structure drawing. The explode offset, extend, fillet, trim, hatch, and rotate commands will help to create these concrete features. The properties palette will be used to determine the hatch areas. We'll begin by opening the structure drawing that we created previously. I will go down to the status bar and make sure that the visual grid and the uh, polar tracking and the object snap are on. I'll create the existing concrete hardscape um, by going to the polyline command, I could type in P-line. I'll zoom in on the bottom left corner of the structure and I'll go down 21 feet 6 inches. I'll then come over 35 feet 9 inches. I'll come back down 9 feet 9 inches. I'll come over to the right 22 feet 9 inches and I'll come back up. I'm not exactly sure how much. It will extend into the sidewalk, so I'll just stop it there. I'll go back into the P-Line command, Polyline command. I'll begin in this corner here and go straight up 24 feet 4 inches, over 12 feet, and then I'll bring it up to about here. It also will extend into the sidewalk. To create that sidewalk, I need to offset my top sight line 2 feet 9 inches above and below. I can do that using the offset command, which is at the modify panel, or by typing in offset. I won't, however, be able to offset this sight line individually until I explode it. You can see it's a polyline, so I will go to the explode button also on the modify panel or type in explode. I'll select that sight line and now I've exploded it. They are individual line segments. Now I can go back to offset. I will begin by typing in the distance 2 feet 9 inches with the pick box I'll select that sight line and I will offset above it and I'll offset below it now I want to connect the sight borders on the left and the right to my sidewalk and I can do that in an elegant manner using the fillet command with a radius of zero. The fillet is up here on the modify panel or I could type in fillet. I'll type in R for radius, give it a radius of zero and then with the pick box I'll select the left line and the top line and notice how it automatically connects those. Let me do the same thing over here. Back into the fillet command, click and click. And it adds a fillet with a radius of zero, which means it comes to a point. Now I want to clean up or trim some of the extra areas, such as over here where the sidewalk extends past the site. I'm going to use the trim command which is also on the modify panel that's up here um, or I can type in trim TR is the command alias and then enter here's my trim command I begin by selecting a cutting edge which is this line click I'll hit enter because I'm done selecting cutting edges and then I'll select the line that I want to trim, which is right here. Click. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the left hand side. I'll go into trim, TR, enter, select the cutting edge, enter, and then select the item that I want to trim. Click. Finally, I'll 
I'll, uh, I'll extend these uh, driveway lines into the sidewalk. And much like the trim command, I'll use the extend command to do that. And that's in the same location on the modify panel. I begin by selecting the boundary edge I want to extend to. Click. I'll hit enter because I'm done selecting boundary edges. And now I will select the line that I want to extend, which is this line. Click. And the other line on the right here. Click. And then extends that driveway right into the sidewalk. I'll hit escape. And then I'll do one more trim here. Uh, the, a fast way to trim is to select everything as a cutting edge. And you can do that by going into the trim command, TR, enter, and then select enter again. Now everything is a cutting edge. So all I have to do is pick the lines that I want to trim. Click. I can't, I can't trim this uh, center sight line. I have to delete it because it doesn't have any cutting edges. So I'll select that line and I'll and I'll delete that line. The hatch patterns for the concrete and for the existing structure are all done with the hatch command which is on the draw panel. I'll go into hatch. I'll select ANSI 31 for my structure. Notice that the pattern is so dense it appears to be solid. I need to come over here and change the scale and I'll change that scale to 200. Now my lines look better. I'll hit enter because I'm done with my hatch command for the site or for the structure. For the uh, concrete I'll do the same thing. This time I'll type in hatch I'll uh, scroll down to find the pattern that matches. It's this one, AR Concrete. I'll select that area. Uh, now my scale is too big at 200. I need to come up and change the scale to be, how about 10? Enter. Looks good. I'll hit Enter to accept that hatch pattern. And with those hatch patterns, I can now get the area using the properties palette. But before I do that, uh, let me rotate the entire site negative 16 degrees. And I'll do that with the rotate command, which is also on the modify panel, or I can type in rotate. I'll put a crossing window around all my objects hit enter. I'll select the top right corner as the uh, rotation base point. Click. And I could uh, pick a point or I could type in a precise measurement which is what I want to do. Minus 16. Enter. Okay, finally I'll check the areas of my concrete in my existing structure. Uh, I'll click on the hatch pattern for my existing structure. I'll right click and then come down to the bottom to select the properties palette. And in the geometry section of the properties palette, you can see that my area is 3,209 square feet. I'll hit escape and then I'll select the concrete hatch pattern and you can see down in the geometry section that the area is 2,953 square feet.